Hello everyone, let me show you an automation of the super trend indicator. This is a modification of the super trend indicator. As we can see, we have the classic settings. We can use a median line, another mo very used setting is using the whole moving average, the HMA. We can also remove the arrows and of course changing any of the settings. And now <laughs> Let's see how, how we can use this for, for a trade setup. Let me choose again the median. The second part is the trade management. You can see that this indicator places um, buttons on the chart. So when we have a trend change defined by the one of these lines with this setting for the ATR and this is the smooth for this line. The median uh, is not using the smooth uh, value but all of the others yes. So we use a simple moving average with a period of 10. We can change the color so we can see it. So when this, this is a simple moving average of period equal to 10, we can change this period. And when we have a start of short trend, this is the entry for a limit order this is the entry, then the line changes to neutral color. Now we have a long entry, this is the entry for the long. At the same time we have a short trend starting, now this is the entry for a limit order. So this, is, this will be the entry technique for this setup. For the entry, we can draw signal lines, this, this draw vertical lines where we have a fill. For example, this is a long, so we are starting to track a limit order at this line. We have a fill, this, is the, this vertical line means that we have a fill on this place. Then we start a short mode. This vertical red line is we have a fill. The same for this long. We started the long signal and we have a fill. At the same time we started a short signal with a fill at this place. Another feature. This can also send orders. I am using this ATM name. Usually I use an ATN with settings for two positions. Each one is using one contract with a stop loss, a profit target and a trailing stop. Let's say we want to trade this system. Let me start from from this bar. <coughs> First of all, let, let me show you that we have a, a strategy 
receiving order from this indicator the current st strategy is disabled if I enable the, the strategy this indicator enables the buttons and also also changes the color so we know that some the, that the strategy is receiving order from the indicator because the buttons are enabled and also the title of the chart is also highlighted so let's go back to 6 30 this is a short setup We have a fill on on the touch of the the simple moving average line. After we have a fill, the short button is disabled and we have the control now. So we can move these targets, we can move the stop, we can increase the position order pending if we want to e execute the scaling order cancelled so it, it can be manually traded and we can of course enable the the trading again target filled now um, let me show you the different <laughs> ways of manage the trade. For example, we have a long. This is a long and this is a short if we are long and holding a position it is possible to get this short while we are still long so there are two possible ways to execute this trade let's go with the first going to 550 indicator currently has a setting on the trade management called early exit the early exit is disabled so let's see how this works Order okay, we are long and let me move the stop and the target to very far I don't want this stop let me remove the trailing stop Now we should get a reversal. Now we have a reversal signal. So currently the system is looking for a short. But we are still long. So the system will do nothing. We have a short entry. But the system is not entering this short. Because it is waiting for us 
to finish this trade. Let's go back and show. Uh, I will show you how to do this in the other way. Mm. Order cancelled. Now let's use early exit set to true. I will enable the long, the short. Order filled. Okay, going to remove again the trailing stop. Now, when we have a trend change, it exits the position at market, so it is ready to take the next short. Order filled. So, just two different ways to manage the same trade. Another option available is the manual mode. If we change it to false, these buttons will keep locked, so they will not be disabled each, each time we have a fill. Now I, I am going to explain how to install this semi-automatic indicator and strategy. First we place the indicator. We place the widget settings. You can see that the buttons are disabled. Then we go to the control center strategies panel. Right click, click on new strategy and place the strategy with the same name, PMS Supertrend. This is the same name of the indicator. We can use one minute bars because uh, the time frame is from the uh, the time the time frame used is from the source chart, not from the strategy. So we use the the, the less ro resources we can use is one minute. We can we must place the correct instrument. And just one day will be enough and default 24-7. So it can receive orders from the indicator 24-7 for this instrument. Only that, if we enable the strategy and then we have one tick coming from the data feed we can see that the buttons on the on the chart are enabled if the strategy disables then these buttons should turn off at the next tick <coughs> 